I matriculated at Rice and graduated with a, a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering and biochemistry in 1990. So I got to graduate school and uh, finished my PhD, but found that that wasn't really where my true interests were. I really had enjoyed my teaching assistant experiences, and so I really wanted a teaching only job. Sometime the uh, fourth or fifth year of graduate school, I discovered that there are almost no just teaching jobs at a university. Uh, so instead, I took a job in industry and I went to work for Shell in their environmental division. Got to do some real engineering in the field. Then a position became available at Rice in the bioengineering department. So I asked for my job at Rice. I asked Larry McIntyre, I said, I want a teaching only position. He said, we don't hire people like you, Anne. So I asked him again and again. And one day I came home from work and there was a message on my machine that says the job is posted. You better hope you were serious. So what's in the next steps in terms of getting this kind of together? Can't say I've ever had a professor or a teacher quite like Dr. Satterbeck. She makes the, the learning uh, atmosphere very organic. She gives you all the tools you need to succeed in the real world. Are you guys thinking about trying to build some of the, the bridge? She takes you through the entire design process, which as freshmen, it's completely foreign to us, but she walks us through and kind of shows us what real engineers do when taking a project and brainstorming solutions and going through and actually building the project. <laughs> NG120 is a class where we are split up into teams and each team has a different project that um, a client comes in and says to Dr. Satterback, hey, I want this to be done, I want this to be built for um, my facility, can, can your t students do this? And Dr. Satterback looks over the client's proposal and then um, essentially gives these design projects to teams of freshmen. Some of my favorite projects the last uh, few semesters have been with the Houston Zoo. Last spring we worked on um, two different projects. One was a giraffe hay feeder. A second project that we worked on with the zoo was a puzzle feeder for the orangutans. As undergrads, you don't always get hands-on experience, and the fact that you can do it freshman year is just unheard of. That makes it very unique, rare, and um, a special privilege to be a part of. This class gives me an opportunity to apply what I learn in my other classes, in the academic classes where I just have to, you know, do problem Something sets. Like it allows me to apply what I learn there to a real world, world problem. Okay, so is this thinner than before? So the students in NG120 are expected to work hard. They turn in weekly technical memos, uh, updating me on their progress in their design project. They're expected to build multiple prototypes. They're expected to give two oral presentations and the students have fun doing it because engineering is fun. For me it was like a transition between high school and college to show that like here you have so many more resources and so many more opportunities to do the things that you actually want to do. The OEDK, the Austrian Engineering Design Kitchen where we work, is kind of a bit of heaven on earth. Um, in high school I was on my school's robotics team and we would have killed to have half of what, what we have here in the OEDK. Girls aren't usually like associated with power tools so it's fun to get in there and kind of show up the boys a little bit um, and teach them a thing or two every so often. I think my parents love bragging about the fact that I'm building a rock wall uh, to their friends <laughs> and they're um, definitely always excited to like hear my updates and um, my friends are, when I told them, oh yeah, I'm building a rock wall, I have a ton of rock climbing friends and they're like, oh, that's so legit, like, that's so cool, I wish I could do that. And it makes me feel very special and it makes me appreciate the education that I'm getting at Rice much more than I probably would anywhere else. I think she just really helps the freshmen understand that, hey, you're not in this alone. There's this whole team that you have ready to help you through this process and ready to work with you and ready to create awesome things. Coming back to Rice to teach was one of the best jobs I could possibly imagine. Um, to get a teaching only faculty position where I could really focus on uh, innovating in education, creating uh, new and different kinds of courses that excited and motivated students to stay in engineering. That's really the ideal job for me.